Hello, just a mill here, and welcome back to another episode of The Cat Lady. I took the lilies and we're off to the other room to try to hide them from our husband. And here's a here's a little note. And remember, my feelings are my own, my thoughts are my own. You could agree with me, you could disagree with me, and that's perfectly fine. That's just how I feel on the matter. But if you have to hide something from your significant other, you're doing something wrong. If you if if you're doing something and you thought that your other was doing it and it upset you, you're doing something wrong. If you have to hide it, you're not doing something right, you know? Um, so don't do it. I don't think I've said this before in any video, but I feel that emotional cheating is the same as physical cheating to me. I mean, if, if I don't... If the person I'm with cannot come to me and talk to me about their feelings, but they can open up and talk about all their feelings to somebody else, there's a problem, you know? Um, any hoot, <laughs> I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. I am going to try to find a place to hide these so my husband doesn't see them. Um, just tell him that you have an admirer and show him the flowers. You know, have it all out in the open because it's easier to trust. It's better than just finding them with the card and then wondering what's going on. Oh, it's my baby's room. Hey, baby, how you doing, Zoe? Caught. Watch Zoe. She's fast asleep now, my baby girl. She looks so cute. I don't want to wake her up. She'll have, uh, we'll have all day tomorrow just to, to each other. Shelf. Examine. It's one of those cheap self-assembly units from the supermarket. Okay, uh, do I put the lilies on them? Can I put the lilies? I can't. I have to put the lilies in here, don't I? Can I put the lilies out in the um, front room? I could say I bought them myself because I'm a liar. Oh, this would be a bit too obvious, Eric. We'll start acting questions. I really want to avoid that. Okay. Yeah, if, you, if you're with someone, <laughs> I'm going on this again, I'm sorry. If you're with someone and you feel like it's not working out, or there's someone else that you that you think you might like, talk to them about it. It's better to talk about it than to, or, um, or maybe don't talk about it, just never. If you really care about the person you're with, and you know the other person's going to be an issue, don't speak to them anymore. You have no one but yourself to blame if something happens. Because you're giving them the now idea Eric that, Mandy that it's okay. Them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. No. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. And he's home. Eric must have come home early. But why? Let's go see. It got quiet all of a sudden. It's scary, isn't it? My, hold on just one second. My leg is just really sorry. <laughs> okay, now we're walking. We're walking. It's really quiet. It's awkward. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan. There is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? What happened? Was there an accident? Was there an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. Why is he so mad? There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? He's a dick. Of course I care. I had no idea. Of course I care. I had no idea. 
You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, it's not the point. No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Don't get mad at me. Dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. Wow, what a dick. I was we cheating on you. We've wine in the fridge, <laughs> haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. Why do... Okay, I'll get the glasses. How about get some glasses, please? How about get some glasses, please? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for your nagging, okay? I've had a really bad day. Well, but are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. Boy, he needs to be a little nicer. Just because he's had a bad day doesn't mean he could jump down my throat. Jeez. Let's get the glasses. Yeah, sorry about my whole, um, Shit. blab about how I feel about relationships and stuff. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Okay, bye. It's nice to play games like this, though, because you can talk about how you feel about things. Hello? Cause... It's me again. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but no. I had to hear your voice again. Record it! Get out of my life. I love you, Susan. Get... Oh, this is bad. Susan? This is bad. You still there? Hang up Please. the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Oh, hang it up. Um, yes, that'd be fine. Huh? What do you mean? Susan, is something wrong? Go away. Yeah, I mean, no. It's absolutely fine. Okay? You're not making any sense. Oh my gosh. Who is it? It's the guy that's sending me flowers. It's just Mandy. I won't be a second. Tell her we're busy. You two are always on the phone to each other. I know. Can't I just for one evening talk to my wife without anyone interrupting? Talk to me, wife. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Yes. All right. Take care, then. What a dick. Well... Where's the alcohol? Oh, okay. I thought I had to get the alcohol. Then the arguing started. What if they picked up? It slowly grew into something bigger. Something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. My washing machine it was sinking. It wasn't the sinking. first time we argued. Sinking. <laughs> but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day. But it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. She's still a baby. You to organize your day a bit better and get things done. Apparently you've done. If taken other care women find time, why can't you? Apparently you haven't taken care of a child. It's very frustrating to, to spend all day working on a house and then one people don't notice it and think you haven't worked, or come home and then mess up the house you spent all day cleaning. It's so frustrating. You're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? 
Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work. Not really. He's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? At the store. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. Kick that guy to the curb, jeez. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spend more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better get used to it, because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. How, how I you... put the bread on our table, don't I? No. I'm the man in this family. Because I cook. I will make the rules, and I get the respect I deserve. You deserve no respect, you prick. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case. I'm done talking to you. How can you talk to me like I'm done? I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. I don't like arguments. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and then over stop again. stop being a dick. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! What? Right. I wasn't hearing you. Here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. Wow. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. You have a wife, you have I a kid. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Um... Full of shit! I did not hit her, I did not. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? Yes. You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. Yes. Get out of here. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! Go suck a dick. I'm not going anywhere! Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. Doesn't he think all the responsibilities on him think anyway? You're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. Fucking dick. Don't you say anything, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'll walk away. That's right, just walk away. What a dick. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. Well, apparently I finished it with you because I have a fucking baby. If there's baby. one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. That was the dumbest joke I've ever made. I pretend it didn't happen. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? Something. He's upset about something. I'm sure Zoe's fine. No one it's pushes like that unless there's a problem. Years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. 
fine. Never mind. Wow. So I can't check on the baby and all I can do is argue with him more? I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah, then why are we here now? Fighting. Because you're fucking drunk, you idiot. This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. You always knew which strings to pull. To dip me over the fucking edge! Um. Stop it, brackets. Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm playing facade. We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. Eek! It's something like that you wouldn't know. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back so again. That's a dick move. Leaving after a baby, they found I'm assuming, died? A week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. Wow. What a dick. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked... bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Oops, Thank you for sorry about that. that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Cause I'm a bitch. <laughs> uh oh. Hammerman's back. What do you want from us? Looks like he's a fake nose. Are you dev? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead! Take me. What's happening? What's going on? Oh no, he took her. Kill you? Where'd you go? What? What's going on? Why do you let her go? You're letting me go? Just like that? Um. Where's my friend? What have you done to her? 
All right. Well, that is weird. This has been Jazz DeMail telling you useless information. I will see you next time for another episode of this. Goodbye.